Hello guys and welcome to our 29th community call, 5th of April 2024 today. I'm Louis Orde Jesus Christ and I'm happy to present you what we did in last month. So here are the Crust stats from our mainnet. Um, looking at 1st of April 2024, just above 1,500 nodes. Um, our storage orders are yeah, just crossed 2.3 million um, orders and um, a storage power of 675,000 terabytes. As usual, let's start with our um, technical uh, achievements. Um, last month, I presented you, for example, that we are working or that we actually did deploy our EVM storage smart contracts to the PLAST testnet. Now we finalized our deployment for the mainnet. Also, for security reasons, we um, rotated um, the bridge hot team. Um, then Subwallet will support Graph Mainnet, so that's very interesting for our token holders. Then we fixed some yeah, display issues on Subscan. We also upgraded our parrot chains, um, our cross parrot chain on Polkadot, but also our Spero parrot chain on Kusama to the latest um, Polkadot substrate version. And we are also working on a new roadmap to improve our DEE mechanism for our S workers um, and also our application side. So be interesting to see. Followed by our ecosystem announcement. Um, what you probably noticed is that Crust was, or CRU, our token was listed at XT Exchange. Um, they listed us as hot coin in their innovation zone. And CRU is tradable on XT Exchange since the 5th of March. I also still want to highlight our campaign and our partnership with Pink um, the meme token, the very first community driven meme token on Pokadot. You probably are aware that Trust as partnering project received um, almost yeah, nearly 20, 20 million Pink token to distribute to our community. We came up with a distribution plan. This already was published a while ago, um, and we actually started the activities. So the first was concluded, which was our cross files uh, activity, where we add up 15% of the supply allocated to us. Um, yeah, we did the Galaxy uh, claim process because we noticed that a lot of bots actually created uh, many crust files premium accounts just to um, yeah, grab this airdrop. This wouldn't be fair for our yeah, long supporting community members. So we want to make sure that there's a human behind every claim and that what we can do is Galaxy. So maybe it's a little bit more effort to claim the tokens, but you can be guaranteed that it doesn't go to you. Then Crust will join a big hackathon, um, mainly led by Apilon. Crust and Apilon already have a very long lasting and close partnership where Crust is utilized for many of their services, for example, hosting of web pages or NFT metadata storage, general file storage, um, all of those things Apilon provides. And, um, we are all teaming up together with a few more parrot chains, for example, with Kill, with Fala, and with Asta, to build like a um, retransfer application just for Web3. Retransfer, you probably used it before, um, a very easy to use Web2 application to transfer and share, share large files. And we want to do that exactly for Web3 in a totally decentralized way. Storage obviously is the most critical part in this use case scenario and Crust is happy to provide a solution for that. So um, if you want to join the hackathon, just go to Encode. It's a very big or very popular um, hackathon platform. And all of this is also sponsored by the uh, .treasury. So very interesting to see. Um, what services, what solutions, products will result out of this uh, hackathon. Another big event for the Polkadot ecosystem recently was the uh, Sub-Zero Developer Conference hosted in Bangkok. Um, I attended the last Sub-Zero Conference in Lisbon. This time, um, Maxi, our product lead, attended Sub-Zero. We also had a speech on the builder stage. 
where we introduce the new concept of prop transactions and data availability for the Polkadot ecosystem. Um, we received a lot of interest into this new approach and um, also super interesting to see where um, this will lead us. And um, on the right side, also a few pictures of the more event-related stuff um, is, for example, the upcoming Web3 Festival in Hong Kong. Um, Crust will join this. We will be at the Polkadot booth at April 6th. So feel free to meet Crust um, basically yeah, tomorrow and learn about our newest updates. Today, there actually is another Polkadot side event um, in relation to the Hong Kong Web3 Festival where Crust will be joining. This is happening today. And yeah, this is organized by Polka World and some other VCs in the ecosystem. Um, another thing to mention is that Polkadot gave us a nice shout out um, looking at the deep in landscape of Polkadot. And Crust was mentioned among other very popular projects um, like Peak Network, for example. So thank you for that. We also attended some more offline events, for example, East Denver, um, which uh, was visited by our marketing lead, Julia. Um, we talked to a lot of partnering projects, also talked about new projects with um, others we, we haven't collaborated with yet. So exciting times, and we are happy to, to move those projects forward. Also, uh, yeah, in terms of our, our, our listing, we also organized a Twitter space with XT Network, which was visited by a lot of people. Um, so thanks for the large audience. Um, the XT community was very uh, interested in what CRU stands for, what CRU um, provides as technical solution, and uh, why they invest in it. And last but not least, let's spend some time looking at the news advancements of ETA, our data availability network. Um, we made our big announcement last month that Polygon and ETA will collaborate, that ETA will be deployed as yeah, out-of-the-box solution for Polygon ZDK for all of their um, ZDK ecosystem to make use out of it. And this was yeah, also shared and retweeted by the Polygon account itself, but also by, for example, Polygon's co-founder, Sandeep. Um, so thanks for this big shout out. Um, we know that you see us and there's a lot to come. But also on the technical side, uh, right now we have our DevNet, but we're working on our V2 for the DevNet. We updated our plot interface, and we also already defined some technic technical um, yeah, specifications about the ZK block data availability interface. And um, also in our documentation, showed some nice example how a rollup, for example, could integrate with ESDA. We're making big steps on this side as well. And that's from my side. If there's still any questions, I'm um, available for you guys.